Okay, so let's very briefly talk about the possibility and potentiality of LCX. I was looking at the circulating supply, right? They have somewhere around 777 million LCX tokens total, total. All right, keep that in mind. Then I said to myself, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's very close to what Cello has. Cello has around, I'm, I'm just giving you a roundabout number, around 500 million circulating supply. Now, if you remember way back in the beginning when we first started talking about Cello, it was at a low. Remember, it exploded to like $8 or something like that, $9. It went from real low, like $1.50 to $2 to $8. Now, at that time, and I'm going to make a correlation here, follow me. At that time, sure, Cello had their CBDC white paper out there. They were making a big push. They have, they have a burgeoning ecosystem. Sure, they had all of that good stuff going on. Now, just think about LCX right now. LCX has way more going on for it than Cello had back then. LCX is a fully, fully regulated exchange. If every of all other exchanges have a hard time around the world, LCX will not. Fully regulated exchange. Then I then we covered an article the other day. Now they're offering staking the safe way. Look how they're marketing themselves. They're in, they're in bed with the World Economic Forum. I mean, heck, I don't know if they're going to be working with any banks. I'm pretty sure they are. But the possibility of them becoming a bank, which even the World Economic Forum said on their website, they consider LCX to be a future bank, right? You can read that for yourself. All of that on top of that circulating supply that's around the range that allows something like Cello to explode. So Cello's all-time high, just to draw another correlation, Cello's all-time high was $10.66, $10.66. And it was, listen, talk to people who lived through that bull run. It was just exploding like every other week. Boom, boom, boom. You can look at the charts yourself. Maybe it wasn't every other week, but it was quite a bit. People were taking some nasty, some great profits, all right? Now, with all that LCX is doing in a 777 million circulating supply. There's no way you can't tell me it can at least scrape $8 in the future in some future bull run. I'm not saying next bull run, but maybe two bull runs from now. I think it could scrape at least $8 and that's not a cap on it. Uh, that's, that's not a ceiling on it. I think it could go way past that, but I think that's, I think that's at least possible considering we have an asset that already did it that has a similar similar circulating circulating supply but LCX is much more powerful doing much more has much more potent partnerships heck they have an announcement they're supposed to make this morning about some partnership I hope is a big one if you go to LCX's YouTube channel they have the video up there so you can like uh, set a reminder for it uh, before they actually release the announcement I'm hoping that it's a massive announcement since they're gonna put it on their YouTube channel um, so you have all that potentiality. I think they're, they're, when they streamline their exchange on both ends of it, I think a ton of people are going to be staking there because you can you have the safe, perfectly safe. You're gonna have value locked up in there. The LCX token itself is is integral to the chain, so it's gonna be used uh, uh, quite a bit. I mean, there's so much payroll is gonna roll through there. I mean, this this LCX token has a world of potential. So. I'm going to say that I do believe firmly it can reach $8 and that's not its limit. 